We're getting ready for Vado. Yeah. Woo! Ruby had a hold of it. We're getting ready, man. What you think? Man. Man, he's locked in, y'all. 75 holes. Y'all man, y'all look at that. Oh, man. Mike, We're going to New Mexico. Did a good job. Come on, Show words Mike. of advice, man. Show yeah. Mikey Drowry. No, I don't uh, it's overwhelming at times, man. And uh, uh, <laughs> our new guy, y'all are going to hear more about this 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 weekend. But but Jason Nesis uh, with Nesis Motorsports, uh, he has really stepped up. A lot of stuff happened really fast this past week. Uh, we we entered a crate racing USA race that's going to be in in next December, so it's a year away. Well, we don't have a crate car, but Jason told us to enter, so we entered, and uh, he's buying us a MB Custom, one of Jimmy Mars's house cars. So we're super excited about that, and we're going to be racing that thing throughout the year, as well as racing this modified. So. Uh, a lot of a lot of content for us to put out to y'all a lot of learning Vado, New Mexico. Vado, New Mexico. Uh, I don't know where the border is, but they, we're we're in razor wire at the racetrack. Very nice, very nice place. It's attached to a gas station up there. Big truck stop that's got anything you can imagine. Look at the mountains off in the distance over there. It's absolutely beautiful here. I will say that. Uh, never been here. The drive here is something I'd rather forget about. It was terrible, if I'm being honest. Uh, Chase took a couple of different detours that he, I don't know what he was doing, but he ended up going through those mountains over there and had us all stressed out. But he got here safely. He is parked in the pits. Avery and I are parked in the uh, spectator camping area. And we are about to walk in here for the first time. So. Uh, he probably also went through those mountains. Oh, I'm telling you, hey, the other yeah. ones. he went the through bad every thing, mountain range. I, I bet it was beautiful, in New Mexico, but Texas. but they did it in the in the dark. In the dark, yeah. And they went through mountains. So we left we left home uh, around noon Wednesday, and we went to Glade Water, Texas, to Morgan Bagley's race shop really cool dude really nice place very nice of them to allow us to go hang out so we we went from there yesterday morning chase went to uh pick some tires up and when he got done with that we left and went to uh got on the road to come here and we didn't leave till about 10 30 got here last night at about 10 o'clock he got here right at 11 30 i guess yeah. and we slept and here we are it's friday it's practice day so, that bleachers or like man this place i'm telling y'all 
this place is fine. We saw the track when we pulled in over by the pit area trying to figure out where to go. And they sent us over here to the uh, campground. And uh, we saw Matt Curl was the first person that we communicated with. And if you don't know who Matt Curl is, he is Fairberry, Fa Fairberry Prairie Dirt Classic guy. Super organized. Uh, he's always got it together. So we're going in to find Chase and we'll be back later. All right, so instead of going and finding Chase, we decided to take a detour, I did anyway, to go look at this thing. I like to just look at it when we get to a racetrack. So, Would you like that? Yeah. That's very soft. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all this place is nice, I had a lot of people tell me that as far as facility, it's comparable to Lucas Oil. And uh, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm seeing. Not as big as Lucas Oil, but definitely not. Very nice place. I say this a lot, Avery, when I walk up and look at a track. Your favorite. Reminds me of why not. We say that a lot, yeah, but honestly, size wise, banking, I mean, I feel like I'm walking up looking looking at why not right here. And that's good news for us. I know the dirt's different, but uh, Chase likes why not. All right, let's go find him. Somebody done, somebody jumped out and went to work right here. So Michael is here with Apex Fab and Equipment, so these boys are looking alive. Hey, hey. So today it is practice night. Vado. Vado. New Mexico. Uh, don't, right. be, don't be suspicious that there's barbed wire. No, no, no. We're good. Just to ensure safety. safety. So we are fixing to go grab some pit passes. Grab some food yes. so that we can cook the boys Sandwiches. some lunch. Some sandwiches. Um, Might the, get sprayed with water truck. Do they know that the water pump is broke? The water pump went out while I was cleaning the shower. Um, so we, Travis and Michael actually put a whole different water pump, thankfully. We had an extra one, or Chase had an extra one in the trailer. Um, but now they're repairing leaks. So <laughs> this trip has, has been interesting. Been hard on equipment, but yes. Yeah. You know, but there we go. Water's fixed. Just modifies. There's a lot more of them here, and uh, 
you know, of course, Jimmy Mars and Sam Mars and Chris Mars and the whole Mars crew, AJ, Mark, all the guys are here. So it should be a good weekend for the Mars crew and the MB Custom Race Car. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we uh, can add to a good, good uh, finishing weekend for all these cars there. I hope, I hope we are a, a, a help and not a hinder to their program. So anyway, I'm glad to be here. Uh, thank you all for all the help. As y'all can see, there's a lot of American Racer tires in here. Uh, Morgan Bagley, I want to thank him, uh, Mr. GW, Cade, all the guys, you know, with Speed Secrets that, that connects. You know, life's about connections, man, and we have met some really great people. Ted and Shannon back home. Uh, Man, Eddie Smith, there's so many people, but it's just a, you, you meet this one and they introduce you to that one and this and that, and it moves on. Uh, Mr. Marty Hagwood, uh, he, he, he was a big part of us getting here and, and helping uh, sponsor this tire field. Yeah, so there's a lot of people that keep Chase Holland Racing going, man, and I'm really grateful, and Chase is really thankful for everything that all y'all do. And uh, it's overwhelming at times, man. And, uh, uh, our new guy y'all are going to hear more about this 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 weekend but but jason nesis uh with nesis motorsports uh he has really stepped up a lot of stuff happened really fast this past week uh, we we entered a crate racing usa race that's going to be in in next december so it's a year away well, we don't have a crate car, but Jason told us to enter, so we entered, and uh, he's buying us a MB Custom, one of Jimmy Mars' house cars. So we're super excited about that, and we're going to be racing that thing throughout the year, as well as racing this modified. So uh, a lot of a lot of content for us to put out to y'all. A lot of learning. We've never been in a late model other than when Mr. Jamie Trey Week lent us ride in his one night over at the Rev early on in Chase's career and uh, that was really great really great experience but we're gonna have a car and uh, we're gonna travel around modified racing and 604 crate lake model racing so really good stuff man all the people on board like I said it, we couldn't do it without all y'all there's a lot more than what I mentioned but we greatly appreciate each and every one of y'all. So thank y'all for everything you do. And we're about to go out and get some practice laps here. So here we go.
night, y'all. It is cold and windy and cold. Uh, we just did our first sessions of hot laps. And we are currently second fastest overall, but all of them hadn't been out. Uh, I know there's more cars in the 25 or 30 that they're showing right now. And we're second fastest overall. But Chase said he feels a little too free, even though the track's heavy. So he wants to go ahead and tighten up. So they're gonna make a, a rear end adjustment. And as you can see, Mike's giving me the number one signal. We need to be number one all weekend. So uh, again, it's just practice, but he wants to start uh, tuning on this thing and see how it reacts. So uh, yeah, this is only the probably fourth, fifth race with this car here. So. It's still real new to us, really good piece, really fast straight out the trailer. So here we go. They tuning on it, and uh, we're fixing to get after them. Get it. Send it by hard, baby. Slip right in there. Y'all figure out somewhere we can go there and watch them?
what's uh what's the word on the street? Got work to do. Got work to do. Driver does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we were good when it was good and heavy, and then we got slow when it got slick. Fell way off. So, see y'all tomorrow. Bright and early. Yep. Mike. What's going on? What's happening, dog? It's tires. That looks like feature winners to me. Should be. That's what I'm thinking. What, what, what are we talking about setup while we're ready? Yeah, we gonna we gonna do less. Sometimes less is more. I stayed up late, woke up early, and that's all that's on my mind. We're gonna do less. Cool. Yeah. And I've 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 coached him. We're gonna do less. We're gonna, no no come in, change the world. We're we're gonna leave and I talked to Tyler Wolf and Tyler Wolf won here last year. And he was good all week, and Tyler Wolf told me the same thing. Just leave your car alone. Let the track come to you. And just go. So that's the plan. I need your help, Mike. I'm ready. <laughs> let, let's shut him down. All right, dog. So it is Saturday, and Michael, Mikey's working on tires. Michael's been bowed up doing maintenance, pulling Rocky slack since Rocky's hunting. And, uh, which we miss him by the way, but man, it's cold out here. It is really cold. So anyway, we got this thing ready. I say we, I hadn't really done a lot. I've been talking to everybody that come up. I just saw that face. Uh, at least you're honest. Yeah, at least I'm honest, right? So uh, anyway, I'm excited about tonight. Hopefully we can, we can uh, not do anything to hinder ourselves and, and do everything to help. So we'll see. We we passed ourselves up last night, so hopefully, hopefully we don't do that. That was a practice, and let's learn from it. So I don't know if y'all saw, but we got the Champion Commercial HVAC fixed, and that that Champion Commercial HVAC that is uh, Mr. Jason Nieces that I was talking about last night. That's uh, that's getting the the Crate Late Model ride for us, and then Michael's. Michael's invested in that too, so he's Apex Fab and Equipment. So, uh, pretty exciting stuff going on in the camp here. So, uh, along with all these other great folks, Mr. Larry Martin hadn't talked about him in a minute. You know, we run the Willie's Super Bowls now, but we also this is a Willie's carburetor. But it is a, I mean, a Willie Super Bowl, but it's got the Larry, it's a Larry's carburetor with Willie Super Bowl. And that's what I've told y'all before. Chase loves the Super Bowl. We've always loved Mr. Willie, Larry's carburetors. And uh, it don't matter who you use, you can send your carburetor to Willie and he personally puts the Super Bowl kit on there and walks you through everything that you have to do which is not a lot of stuff to make it work and uh he actually dynos it on his personal dyno at his shop so uh really good stuff there but anyway once again thanks to all these people that uh that help us get up and down the road it's it's uh every one of these people are sponsors that help us a ton and we greatly appreciate every single one of them Thank y'all. Colts Racing Innovations over there. Toronto's Headliners Plus. Weir's Machine and Racing Products. I mean, just load it up on here. Got it all. Drury Designs got this thing popping. This is Pro Line right there. This is one of my favorites right here. I mean, this thing is awesome. We had we had played around with putting orange numbers on here mikey showed us a couple different ways and we decided to go with the purple 
the purple doesn't quite show up as good on the track but when the light hits it just right it, it pops but it is a good looking car one of my favorites anyway let me go find me something to do uh, where the fan blades are in that same cap anything to say driver you ready Not really yeah ready all right excited yeah uh, just hoping that 2024 is way better than 23. hey wouldn't take much yeah <laughs> nah i'm just figuring well, on, it the, wasn't on the racing side yeah yeah that's right can i get under there with you <laughs> what we doing <laughs> yeah okay burying the j-bar yeah. yeah he's moving yeah. yeah yeah good stuff yeah all right well we'll check back in later all right so we're ready we to go out for hot laps had a, a series of unfortunate events happen and apparently we missed registration so they penalized us by making us start in the back with no passing points and the whole thing here we're supposed to be running for passing points so uh we're starting last and if we win we get no passing points for passing everybody so just to give you an idea where we're at with that and uh totally our fault for missing registration but we did catch it before things got going and uh they penalized us anyway and we tried to persuade them to you know give us grace and there was no grace given so hey you got a show you got rules you run by it i'm cool with that as long as you treat everybody the same uh nobody told us when we were supposed to be registered and uh we we dropped the ball on it so we'll see them in the morning to get registered we did register uh yesterday for practice and they peel draw and everything for practice so i thought that that was for uh today since you don't need a field draw for practice but anyway totally on us uh it is what it is and we're gonna own it and we're gonna just dig tonight it's gonna be we're we're starting out buried so there you go here we go 